Oh! Oh my gosh, the teeth! Sawing logs, shut the front door, and taste the rainbow. Today, we're back at it, breaking down and reacting to all of the creative medical scenes and colorful injuries from Happy Tree Friends number 15. Also, I don't know if you knew this, but Happy Tree Friends has a new episode on Mondo Media Channel after a long hiatus. They even have a new game called Crack Pet Show, Happy Tree Friends Edition. I just thought you guys might like to know about it. Let's dive right in. Oh geez, we got some plumber action in medicine. We actually have devices that are like plungers. The one that we use most in the hospital I'm at is called the Lucas, used for CPR. It sits right on somebody's chest and it compresses down and it does the chest compressions for you at the exact depth that you want at the right speed and time. Mm. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm. The arrow won't work, but it might poke <laughs> whatever is there to break it up. <laughs> oh my gosh! We do see people give foreign bodies into their rectum and it will stay within the intestines themselves, meaning it'll stay in the large intestine. Unless it's an abnormal shape or too large, you should be able to poop it back out. Whoa, we got brain matter flying out. It does kind of look like that. It's soft. It has a different smell. It's white gray-ish. Bad news bears when that stuff's coming out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you rupture the globe of the eye. You poke a hole through any part of the eye, but this is the white part of the eye. We call this sclera. The issue ends up being you can sew that back up. You're probably gonna need some antibiotics because of potential of being dirty. You might need to have your tetanus shot up to date. Oh! <laughs> straight through the ear to the other side. I do joke sometimes with patients when I look at one ear, I'm like, oh, I can see through the other side. But you can't. You can't. You're seeing the tympanic membrane and you stop. You can see like a shadow a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the most heinous scene. Oh my gosh. Gotta be careful about those metal gates. Come down and slice a body in half. It's a barber shop. We got the different colors because barbers used to be into like bloodletting back in the day. Oh geez. Oh no. Whoa, 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 why are they so swollen? We get people who do come into the emergency department swollen. Usually it's due to an allergic reaction, right? That's the easiest thing you think of. Somebody who's in congestive heart failure, they get something called peripheral edema, where the fluid just gets into the tissue. Oh, okay. We got some radiation exposure. There's not much to do if somebody's exposed to radiation versus the supportive therapy, managing the hydration, managing the airway, all the after effects of the exposure. Oh. Oh, man, why would you blow it into the air? Why wouldn't you appropriately dispose of it? So you can have all different ways that exposure could affect the body. And if it's topical, obviously it's just melting away the skin. And it would definitely be on the mucous membranes, might be sloughing off and then getting into the GI tract as well as the lungs due to the fact it was inhaled and maybe swallowed or ingested. Oh, there you go. We got some vomiting out the nose. Who out there has ever vomited out the nose? Please, I want to know in the comments. It happens. It's not comfortable. Oh my gosh. It's gonna pop. I feel like I need to like take a chill pill and calm down a little bit because this was so intense. If you guys feel the same way, you definitely check out Chillax by Life Happens, my company. Oi. People always ask, can you pop? Are your intestines gonna pop? They actually do stretch. At some point you may pop, but it does take a while. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, controlling, oh, that's messed up. Controlling the robot remotely. Getting electrocuted. Common occurrence that comes to the emergency department. Typically, it's very minimal energy versus like big energy like lightning or power lines. Most of the time we're just seeing like simple burns and injuries. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, this would be horrific. Razor blade. We have patients that come into the emergency department that say they swallowed razor blades, but no, they typically swallow small little pieces. This would cause lacerations, perforated bowel, increased risk of death. Oh! Oh my gosh, the teeth! What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, paper shredder. Oh. The tongue bleeds so much when there's an injury to a tongue, even if you bite it. Most of the time, you don't necessarily need to like sew it back together if it's a simple laceration. But if it's like a huge chunk that's missing, then yes, you need to try to sew it back together. Numbing it is difficult. You got numb tongue? Oh my gosh! There goes your taste buds. What is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, you're gonna nail your own tail. Wow. Oh. I've seen plenty of people get nail hammer injuries. Hammer time! Sometimes we can take them out easily. Sometimes they're not as easy. I had people come in with wood attached with the nail or the staple or whatever to their body part. We got to pull that apart. What? What the? Oh my gosh, it's like a propeller. I don't know if you guys seen the video that Jen and I did with like first aid and using a tourniquet. This was a technique that you would use to tighten the tourniquet, but not your own tongue. We got brain attached to tongue, obviously a little off, but different anatomy. And we actually have some organs coming after the thoracic cavity in the ribs. Very impressive. Oh, just chilling on a log. Oh gosh, get off the wood. Okay. Oh, well that character is now gone. Okay, I was able to stop. We see the brains, all mush, appropriate depiction of it. Normal appearing white matter and gray matter-ish. There's not really any gray there that we can see, but good job. <gasps> this is awful. Wow, it is busting through the skin. You're seeing the knee right there. You actually see a joint. So you have your femur, and then the femur actually sits on top of, at the joint, the tibia. What's gonna happen? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh. oh man, that leg's now coming off. And the worst road rash ever. So we get people who like ride motorcycles in Southern California and people will fall and slide and slide and slide. Slide. They're gonna need multiple screen grafts to basically repair all the burned tissue. Whoa, check out those blood vessels of the eye. People will come in with like ruptured blood vessels of the eye and it looks super scary when you come in. It's called a subconjunctival hemorrhage or hematoma and it's okay, it'll go away. But it just looks really, really bad and scary. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, what would you do if you randomly saw a pair of eyeballs where they shouldn't be? I don't know, I'd kind of not freak out, I'm an ER doctor, but I'd just be like, where the heck did these just come from? Happy tree friends, they never disappoint a little intense, but yet still something good that I can then kind of relate to with what I see every day in the emergency department. As always, if you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here and definitely make sure that you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.